welcome to digital learning department of collegiate education myself chodak kaur singh assistant professor of commerce gfgc portugal in today i discuss organizational structure of mnc's in last sessions i discussed three ml what is called organizational structures and also in today's session i discuss another three organizational structures therefore so turn to fourth one organization structure of mnc that is global functional division structure what is global functional division structure it is a structure that organizes worldwide operations primarily based on function and secondarily on product very important this is the meaning of this structure this global functional division structure and then it is a structure it is a arrangement that organize control or organize madutte regulate madutte enu worldwide operations worldwide operations control madutte yavar mele primarily based on function and secondarily based on product ondu eradarally based aide ondu function related based aide primarily secondarily product related based aide this is the meaning of this structure it is a structure that organizes worldwide operations primarily based on function and secondarily on product therefore specialized jobs are grouped according to this traditional business function this approach not used except by extractive companies such as oil and mining firms idanna yavu use madabodu andre kevala oil and mining firms matra use martave bere bere company idanna use madala in structure anna functions such as finance operations marketing human resources determine the structure of multinational company in this model idralli mukhyavagi yenu finance functions baruthe operating functions baruthe marketing functions baruthe human resources functions baruthe they determine the structure of mnc adu structure divide madutte athwa find out madutte therefore agagi mining matte oil firms idanna hechindagi use martha ee structure anna what is the advantages advantages bandaga ondu emphasis functional expertise and centralized control very important one the advantage of bandhan function expertise agutte it is controlled by centrally centralized control agutte and relatively uh, what is called lead manager staff or the home country manager staff na adapt madabodu eradnadagi it helps maximize economy of scale increase the growth of economy and harman highly efficient very important organization and as managers are highly efficient that keep martini another advantage gains from being globally integrated as well as local responsive very important it is in gains to globe and also home country eradukku responsive ide what are the demerits confusion very important illi number of two basis irudinda one function with the product basis irudinda two process irtare aga ee confusion will be created therefore confusion is created automatically it is difficult to operate the Uh, products or divisions or functions according to two directions yellow two directions and now operate mana kala difficulty in managing multiple product lines number of multiple product lines and now manage mana ka sadhya illa coordination of manufacturing and marketing is difficult yerdalu sa manufacturing and marketing coordination is not possible in this structure managing multiple product lines can be very challenging number of product lines and now manage mana ka illa that is very challenging therefore production and marketing is uh, into different departments irutakanta ond idralli multiple product lines are very challenging these are the demerits next fifth one mixed organization structure what is mixed organization structure it is a structure which is a combination of global product and area and function arrangement andre idu eradu ondra ondu eradu athwa moor functions moor organization structure of ondu product anta helthivi andre avudu global product division ondu global area ondu with global function ee veradu mooru serkondu ee ondu structure agide enu it is a structure which is a combination of global product and area and functional structure or arrangement this is the meaning it allows the organization to create a specific type of design that best meet its needs matrix organization structure means mixed organization structure na matrix andre treat martivi 
So matrix convolutional structure is an overlap between function and division structures. If you are not the create a Then what you called this structure is character characterized by dual reporting relationships in which employees report both to the functional manager and division manager. This structure is the most employees ibru manager ke na wo report mandar ke baat hai. Bandu functional manager matlab na division manager. He bandu samanda patta na bandaga. Work project involve cross functional teams from multiple functions such as finance, operations, marketing, HR, and etc. This is suitable organization forum for smaller companies. Very important. It is suitable for only smaller companies but not larger companies where only one or two foreign markets are there. Only one or two foreign markets are there. That one company is suitable for them. But it is mainly used by larger corporations who have extensive foreign corporations. That is why this one is the main structure of the company. What is the extensive foreign operations is used in the way. What is the advantages? There is a more cross-functional communication. Cross functional communication is like such a remote very important benefit. The decisions are also localized, very important. Home decisions are taken. Allows organization to create specific type of meet its needs. These are the advantages. Demerits. There can more confusion and power plays because a dual line command. Illy, improve manager report for Kapakati Alagi, dual line command, there is a more confusion. And complexity increases, very important, a difficulty is increases between the employees, how to uh, follow the orders between the two managers. And difficulty arises in coordinating personnel, another one demerits. These are the demerits of this one. This is fifth one, organizational structure. Come to last one, that is sixth one, organizational structure, that is transnational network structure. Transnational network structure is one of the matrix structure has led to the transnational network. The emphasis is more on horizontal communication, very important. It is not a vertical communication, horizontal communication. Information is now shared centrally using new technology such as enterprise resource planning system, ERP. ERP means enterprise resource planning and drive to and drive. Information on the data on the is shared through this new technology. Even transmission network only uh, ERP Mukantra and uh, in information share Marti. Therefore, evolution of the matrix structure has led to transnational network. Then, this structure is focused on establishing knowledge pools. If the Mukyo Yen focus Marta for transnational and rail. This structure is focused on establishing knowledge pools, knowledge samanda focus marte, and also information networks that allow global integration as well as local responsiveness. One global integration give local responsiveness, home country responsibility. Therefore, this is meaning of this transnational structure. Therefore, this structure is focused on establishing knowledge pools and information networks that allow global integration as well as, as, well as local responsiveness. It is a multinational structure arrangement that combines elements of function, product, geographic designs while relaying a network arrangement to link worldwide subsidiaries. This is also another one meaning. So, even a very important meaning regarding translation uh, structure. So, these are the organization structures for MNCs. Therefore, now Haru, six very important organization structures and now we discuss. This is the 15 marks important, but the two marks, but the five marks important. Thank you.